we, your church board, in accordance with our responsibilities, as outlined in the Manual of the Church of the Nazarene, have conducted the review of our pastoral arrangement. We have consulted with the district superintendent, Michael Palmer, and together with him, have approved the continuation of our present pastoral leadership. We affirm our appreciation of the faithful ministry of Reverend Howard Castile. We appreciate his consistent preaching of the word and, and his loving care of the congregation. We commit ourselves to continue to follow his spiritual leadership of our church. And I'll tell you what uh, Carl said when, they asked, when he asked for comments. He said, he preaches it straight. You're not on a fence. You're either right or you're wrong. And if you've gone anywhere where they don't preach it straight, don't go back. Because we need to hear this in, in, in the last days. We need to hear it straight. We ask the entire church join us in affirming our pastor and his leadership among us. We love our pastor and his family. It is our desire to faithfully support his ministry as he follows God's leadership in his life. We are workers together in building God's church. Let us join as pastor and people in prayer and make a new commitment to serving our Lord in ministry through the Annapolis Church of the Nazarene. Okay, I need you to come up here, please. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord. Psalms 33, 5. Appreciate that. And this is, dear pastor, we want to let you know that we all love you and pray for you. We're so happy that you're still our shepherd, loving Christ, your sheep. So I appreciate that very much. appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I uh, always want to do what God wants done. And uh, I called the girls that night. Of course, Gary was aware of it. And uh, when I got home, and then the girls, they uh, were interested. So I called them after the board meeting. And uh, God is good. Yes, and you know, this morning, I uh, picked up Robin and that, uh, in the van. And uh, as soon as Robin got in, he said, how'd it go? And I said, uh, how'd the wife go, Robin? And he said, how'd it go the other night? I said, well, what about the other night? He said, well, when, when, they, when he met with the district superintendent or whatever, I said, okay. I said, yeah. I looked like, I, he said, I've been praying for you since then. I said, oh, well, I appreciate that, Rob, very, very much. I said, how were you praying? That I'd be gone and or I'd be gone or I'd be here? And he said, no, I'm afraid you stay here. I said, okay. So thank you so much. And we just want to be where God wants us to be. It's a good place to be whenever he splits the eastern skies. Isn't it? So thank you all so very much. Appreciate it. There's eternal life at the table of the Lord. Let me run through it again. There's, there's rest for the weary. There's peace for those who are troubled. And there's joy for the unhappy. And there's eternal life. Wow, what a supper. I wouldn't want to trade it for anything today. What a wonderful... What's it cost? What's the cost of this? It cost Jesus on the cross to give his life blood that we could have a redeemed life with him. So, I just want to ask you in these moments, are you ready to get sit down at this table with the Lord? and let him come in and let him bless you with all these things and I know I have been blessed many many times over and over again uh, just like my renewal vote and so precious I appreciate it very very much I just want to let you know that as I was thinking after renewal vote as Gerald sang that song it's not about me it's about him I said Lord this is not about me. And as I heard all the things that the board was saying, I had to just bow my own heart and say it's about others. It's about others. Then I got to thinking, 
about the children's church on Wednesday night and Casey and Sandy in there with those children. It's not about me, it's about them. Then I got to think about the NYI and I got to think about Stevie Ann and Zach up there on Wednesday night and the teens, you know, I said, it's not about me, Lord, it's about them. And then I got to thinking about the missionary endeavors. I said, that's not about me, it's about Vicki. She's our missionary president. And then I thought, that's Sunday school, Lord. I'm thinking about the church. I said, it's, it's not about me, Lord. It's about your own and the teachers in the Sunday school. And I, I just pray that we'll have more people coming to Sunday school. But I really, I really believe with all my heart, it's supper time. It's time to sit down under godly teachers. You say, well, uh, I don't know if I want to come to Sunday school or not. I grant you the teachers would say, I, 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 I wish you would. It, you'd be such a great strength to me if you'd just come and be in a Sunday school class. It'd be a great strength to me. Then I thought, well, it's not all together about them. It's about you. You that are faithful coming to God's house and serving. I, I can't tell you what it does to me, but I can also tell you it does a whole lot for Jesus too. Because Jesus is worthy of it all. I know he is. I thank you for the tremendous vote that you gave me. My heart was already made up, Lord. It's not all together about Annapolis. It's not about any other church on the district. It's not about any place that I'd want to go. The children say quite often, Dad, why don't you just enjoy life? I said, Sis, I'm enjoying life. I'm enjoying life. I'm sitting at the table of the Lord, and I'm enjoying life. I'm not, I'm not, you know, no, no. I wish more people that could enjoy the church and enjoy coming to God and worshiping the Lord. I mean, really enjoy, because it's supper time. And I wanted you, Carolyn, to come up, if you will. We're going to take a moment here, and we could come back to you, but if you'd like to come forward and receive the bread and receive this, I'm going to switch this around just a little bit. And I'm going to serve you, Carolyn, first, and I want you to serve me. This is card of Scripture now. And then I want, while they're waiting, I want to serve you. And then I want to be served. I'll let you serve me. I, it, you say, that sounds like a ritual to me. I'm trying to find trying to follow the word and we'll sit down here. And Jesus said there what I read to you, he said, when he was around the table the night that he was betrayed, he said he took the bread and he ate it. He wasn't being selfish. He heard a lot at that table that night. He heard a lot. He heard some saying, well, now, who's going to be on your right hand? Who's going to be on your left? Who's going to be the closest to you, Lord? And then some said, well, you know, can I have this position? Can I do this? Will I be? And Jesus said, you don't even know what you're asking. You don't want your sons to be with me. I'm going to Calvary. You don't want to see your sons beaten. That's what he's really saying. You don't want to see them beaten and the blood running and the crying going on. You don't want your sons to be involved in that. So the Bible, James said, you can ask him this. But Jesus said that night, he said he ate the bread and then he took the wine and he said he drank it. And then it says that he took the bread and the cup and the rest is wanted to be served around that table. Not all of us happy campers that night, but Jesus wanted to.